Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, no matter where you are. So what have we got today? Half price for the Chevy Captiva in Thailand leaves early buyers fuming. Five suspects insurgents killed in southern Thailand. Bangkok has a surplus supply of 100,000 new condos as Chinese buyers stay home. A Thai man was arrested for setting fire to his own home. But first up, let's have a look what Chevy's doing in Thailand. Half price Chevy Captiva leaves earlier buyers fuming. Customers who paid full price for the Chevy Captiva, nearly 1 million Thai baht, and now Chevy has reduced the price on special for 4.99 or 500,000 baht if you like, which is half price. About 100 Thai customers are absolutely fuming. They are demanding some type of compensation from General Motors. General Motors is ending production of its sales of Chevrolet models and selling its factories in Rayan to Chinese Great Wall Motors. The Chinese-owned Great Wall Motors is here to save the day. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, they're not going to employ anybody. It's going to be all Chinese, I guess. Yes, sadly, 1,000 employees will lose their jobs in Rayong as the factory merges over to the Great Wall Motor Company of China. Anyway, back to the customers who bought the new Captiva when it was launched in September. And the massive discount offered now has put these cars at, well, basically useless. The resale value is just plummeted and it has also impacted on insurance renewals. The disgruntled customers want compensation measurements including the 500,000 Thai baht price difference or else be allowed to cancel their purchase contract. The outgoing business sale is unfair, the customers are complaining. There is also doubt about the credibility of their promise to keep providing after sales service once sales operations end in Thailand. The disgruntled customers also want legally binding bumper to bumper factory warranties in writing covering three years or 100,000 kilometers worth of garage work, parts and any manufacturing defects after GM pulls out of Thailand. Some people suspect that the Thai affiliate must have known earlier about the US parent company's imminent plan to cease operations and yet didn't notify customers about it. If so, they could be in violation of retail disclosure laws. The group further called on Chevrolet Thailand to clarify issues regarding insurance and premiums renewals. Five suspected southern insurgents were shot dead by security forces on a mountain in Cho Arang, district of Thailand's southern border province of Narathawat, on Sunday. The security forces also seized five M16 assault rifles, one HK rifle and some supplies from the location on the mountain. Military sources said the security forces were in pursuit of the insurgents after they were spotted by roadblocks set up by the paramilitary rangers in village 8 to check all passing vehicles for insurgents. Meanwhile, police and troops in Narathawat have been put on alert as precaution against possible revenge attacks. Bangkok has a surplus supply of 100,000 new condos as Chinese buyers stay at home with their sneezing problem. Yes, brand new, shiny and empty condos, 100,000 of them. The Bangkok condo market is facing its biggest challenge in decades. The capital's condo market was once a favorite for Chinese investors. It looks like a bleak market for 2020 as the Chinese investors have other things to worry about. Simply put, the coronavirus. And I'm able to travel to Thailand due to the coronavirus as well. Chinese buyers used to provide the largest proportion of overseas interests. 
but are now limiting their travel options and their economic havoc inside their own country. Even before the coronavirus outbreak, foreign interest was flagging as the outlook for the economy reliant on trade and tourism deteriorated amid currency strength in 2019 and a US-China trade war. So if you want a cheap condo, head for Thailand. I think now would be a great time to buy. Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot, be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Lumsucker police in Pachamburi province on Wednesday took away a laughing 35 year old for setting fire to his own home. The 35 year old man was maddened and affected by alcohol and the refusal of his 90 year old girlfriend to return from her mother's home in a nearby village. I don't know, maybe he was trying to send a smoke signal that got out of control. The Thai man was taken from the scene as his home was on fire, laughing his head off. It is believed the 35 year old man committed the act because his younger girlfriend had left him earlier that morning. Yes, the 35 year old man had burnt his house to the ground and police arrested him and took him away when he was laughing his head off, sitting in the back of a pickup. The man was arrested and taken into custody for his own safety. It is believed what sparked the incident was the man going after the 19 year old woman, begging her to come back, but she had complained about his drinking and did not feel safe with the man. Police are expecting to hold the man until he sobers up, then they will have the man evaluated and his mental health. And the Thai mental health provisions, which gives senior police officers the power to order individuals sent to the psychiatric institute for periods of evaluation. This is just another case of lethal combination of alcohol and love. 78 year old UK man and his elderly 67 year old Thai wife in an early hours bloody knife duel to the death. Patio police are investigating the incident, which saw them arrive at an apartment to find blood splattered everywhere. Police officers took both married partners into custody. According to the 60 year old female Thai wife, both had been injured after she managed to grapple the household knife from her husband in self-defense. The police had been called to the apartment at 1.30 a.m. that morning, which is way past the elderly couple's bedtime, and were shocked at the amount of blood. It looked like a scene out of Gladiator. There they found the 78-year-old Charles Radcliffe bleeding profusely with cuts to his head, while his 67-year-old Thai wife was also found to be injured with slashes to both her hands. The 67-year-old Thai wife told police that her husband's temper had expired and that he had attacked her. The 67-year-old Thai wife gave officials a full account of what had happened. She said her husband had initiated the attack when he had appeared to have completely lose his temper. We were shouting at each other, but then he really lost his temper and tried to stab me with a knife. I used my hand to fend off the attack and was cut. I was hurt and angry, so I snatched the knife off him and swung it around to fend him off. But he came towards me, so I slashed him in the head. After this, he stopped attacking and I called an ambulance, she said. Police are considering whether to charge anybody over this incident and whether the Thai woman had acted in self-defense. The investigation into the incident is still ongoing. Ah, uh, young love can be brutal sometimes.